This video is going to be on a very basic but important topic, which is where are your estate planning documents? Are they all there? Do you have the originals or do you just have photocopies? So this is about the case of the missing estate planning document. I had a client come to my office about five years ago and she had a trust. She knows she had a trust. She brought all of her bank statements that all had the name of her trust on it. But guess what? She couldn't find the actual trust. You can imagine the family the week before the meeting, they're searching high and low. They're going through every crack and crevice of the house to find these documents. They could not find them anywhere. And when they tried to find the attorney who drafted the documents, they couldn't find him either. He wasn't on the State Bar website. He'd either retired or had passed away. He was basically unavailable. Luckily, in that particular situation, she was still in a position to redraft her estate planning documents, so we were able to get her an entirely new plan and get her to the place that she needed to be. But imagine the situation where you don't have mental capacity anymore, you had a stroke, you have dementia or Alzheimer's, and you cannot execute new documents, and they're nowhere to be found. So you absolutely need to go, like pull out the file cabinet where they are, in the bookshelf, under the bed, wherever they are, dust them off, open up the binder, make sure that the documents are there and that they're signed and that there are no pages missing. And if you've done an amendment, say for example, you have an original trust, a first amendment and the second amendment, that you actually have all of the amendments because that is the complete story and you need to have all of those documents. The other thing that I have learned over you know, this time practicing law is you should have the originals in your possession. That's my personal opinion. Some lawyers keep your originals, but if something happens to that lawyer or the papers and you can't find them, you should have the original documents. And if you went to go give a copy to the bank because you couldn't get the original, they may not accept it and they have your money. And if they say, well, our policy is only to have originals, then you are without the ammunition to get the documents that you need. So I challenge all of you, go find those estate planning documents. It's not rocket science, but it still needs to be done. Make sure they're all there, that you have the originals, and that the documents are actually signed and properly notarized. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you so much for watching.